How do you draw on your slides when you're presenting in PowerPoint in a live remote session? Here's how. Hi, I'm Mark Dixon and I release a Tuesday Tech Tip for Teachers every week. So if you've not done so already, subscribe now. So you're delivering a live PowerPoint presentation in Microsoft Teams and you need a whiteboard feature. And what you don't wanna do is have to come out of your presentation into Teams and then find your way back again into PowerPoint. Well, there's a really easy way to do this and I'm gonna show you how. So if you're ready, let's jump in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do in PowerPoint is set up the slideshow so that you get to see the tools that you can use to write on top of your slides. So to do that, you go to slideshow, set up slideshow and make sure it's set to presented by speaker, full screen. Okay. So now we go to slideshow and play from the beginning. And if we hover over, you can see the tools appear here. If we go over to our Teams meeting, we share our screen. And instead of sharing PowerPoints from here, we share the actual screen. Okay, so we've jumped into PowerPoint and we've got this slide here for a maths lesson. And the question is, Sonny and Louie love finding bugs in the garden. How many bugs did they find in a week? And so we've got the days of the week down the left-hand side and bugs symbols here. Now, each of the bugs is worth four bugs. So each of these images is worth four bugs. So we need to show the students how to work out the answers. And we, what we want to do is draw over the top of the PowerPoint. Well, what you do is you can go down to the left-hand side here, and if you see this little symbol on the gr that's grayed out, you can select the pen, and you can go for a pen or a laser pointer or a highlighter. You can also get to this by right-clicking and choosing pointer options and pen. So now we've got the pen selected, we can show how we work something out. So we've got here four bugs, and each is worth four. So four times four, is 16. Now here we've got two bugs and a half. So each bug is worth four. So we've got four times two equals eight plus half. So that's half of four is two. <laughs> so plus two equals 10. So there we go. We can show our workings out. Now this works really well with things like math lessons, but also works with uh, something like graphic design if you if you were teaching a design or an art class so if we look at composition styles we could be looking at magazine layouts and and a triangle composition and we could draw over the top of a magazine to show where the triangle is and where the text would sit on a triangle and how often it's a triangle composition is used in editorial layout so again we can work over the top of the image and here with um, Harry Styles, there's an inverted triangle. You can save the, the uh, PowerPoint now with those annotations added to them so that the students get to see how you've worked out the answers to a, a question you might have posed to them. Now you can also add in a blank slide and if you wanted to show how to a diagram or a draw in you could do that onto a blank slide and you could have maybe a spider diagram coming off these things. So really simple. Now, if you want to delete the um, drawings that you've done or the annotations, you go back over to this left-hand side in the corner and you've got erase all ink on the slide. Or you, again, you can right-click, right go to pointer options and erase all ink on the slide. Really simple.